How to create a Stripe account 2022, create and set up. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, what I bring you, I bring you a tutorial on how you can create your very own account on Stripe. It's totally free and it's totally easy. So before getting into it, I need to tell you what Stripe really is. So let's go and find out. Stripe is basically, in other words, an Irish American financial services company as it's a dual headquarter found in South San Francisco, etc, etc. So what exactly does Stripe do? Stripe brings everything that's required to build websites and apps that accept payments and send payouts globally. So in easy words, what Stripe is, is a platform where you can receive payments from different people or clients or websites or companies and then you can set payouts globally for example if you're sitting in Europe you can send payouts all the way out to Argentina that is how great stripe services are so it's very helpful if you're in a startup company or if you're in a business of your own and your clients are from other places. For example, you're sitting down in the US and your clients are all the way down in Australia. So how do you send them payments? Stripe is the program for you. So let's get right into it and I'm going to show you how to create the account in the easiest, most simplest way possible. I'm going to guide you through all of it and by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to create your very own Stripe account. So let's get into it. So we're going to go to Stripe.com and once we're over here, we're going to need to sign in. So this is the basic interface of Stripe.com. As you can see, it's very nicely portrayed financial infrastructure for the internet and you can also access it on your mobile phone you can see uh, different charts for graphs of your payments and funds and there are different products that you can use on Stripe for example global payments you can use uh, online payments payments for platforms pre-built payment pages billings invoicing terminals you can manage your subscriptions, you can manage your revenue, and uh, you can manage your financial status, banking as a service, There's a, you can connect to different platforms, there's treasury, you can adjust the capital, and there's basically, you can issue different kinds of cards. And if you come down here, you can see the different platforms and applications that Stripe is associated with. So there's Shopify, there's Google, there's Amazon, there's Slack, Zoom, many different applications. And if we come more down here, we can see this uh, fully integrated suite of segments that Stripe provides us with. And we can see that it's designed for developers because it's the world's most powerful and easy to use API. And yeah, basically if you're a very heavy developer or a programmer, you will have a lot of ease using the HTML of Stripe. So let's get into it then on how you can create it. Your very own account, so we're going to click on start now. Now, once we click on start now, we're going to go ahead and sign into our account. So when we click on start now, we're going to come to this page and we're going to sign up. So they're saying don't have an account and we're going to click on sign up. It's going to take us to the registration. And over here, we're going to sign up with our email address. So just put in whatever email address you have and then I'll get right back to you. So once you've put in all your details, you're just going to go and create account. Once you do that, it's going to take a, a small bit of time processing it. And once it processes it, it asks you to verify your email. So what we're going to do is we're going to go really quick and we're going to verify our email address. Now, once we verify that, here we see that it just takes us directly into it. So over here, it says activate payments on your account. Now, obviously, we're going to go and click on that because without activating payments, there really is no use for us being on Stripe. So you're going to start by putting in wherever you live. So, for example, I'm just going to put in a random area. Now, type of business, you can put in your type of business, either you're in an NFP or an individual sole trader or if it's a trust fund or if it's a partnership or if it's a company, just put in company business structure, do public company or whatever you'd like. Then we go into the business details. Now, once we go into the business details, you're going to tell them your company name. For example, I'm just going to put in a random name, Shoes and Deck Incorporated. 
then they're going to ask for your, for example, if you put Australia, they're going to ask your ABN, uh, your ACN, and you're going to put in your address line and everything. And once all that is done, you're going to put in your industry. And once you do that, you're going to just go on continue. You're going to go on business representative. So once you go on to your business representative over here, I'm going to wait for this to load up. Yeah. So over here, and we're going to verify the business I represent. So basically, uh, this form, this area of the form is to be filled by a significant person in the business you are in. For example, anyone from management who has a uh, significant control in the company. So they're going to fill this in and then you're going to take this to your business owners. And if you want to, you can continue with no owners. That's totally on you. Once you're over here, you can also continue with no directors if you want to. Now, if you do no directors, you're going to go to business executives. Once you go on business executives, you can do continue with no executives. Then you go into public details. And over here, you're just going to let in your statement descriptor, shortened descriptor, and your customer support phone number. Because once you put this in, then you're going to go to add your bank. Over here, you're going to put in your bank details. Then you're going to go to secure your account. Over here, just do any type of two-factor authorization. Then in add extras, you can basically add in your uh, GST to calculate your GST. In climate contributions, uh, we can show our climate commitments with Stripe Climate, basically. So this isn't necessary, but if you don't want to do it, just go on no thanks. And then in the end, it's going to review our account. It's going to review our information. For example, if you miss something, it's going to show us and we're just going to go and edit. And once all of that is done, we're just going to go click on submit. And once you submit, you're just going to go on their main page where your account will be successfully created and you're going to be easily able to make payments and uh, receive them and make payouts, do top ups, do trades, whatever you'd like. And it's all very easy using Stripe. And if you want to see more videos related to Stripe, let me know down in the comments. And if you have any more queries regarding this video, let me know down in the comments. I'll get right back to you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how easy it was. I hope you have completed all your steps and uh, this was easy for you. So I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guides for any type of videos that you demand and uh, if you have any queries regarding this video you can let me know down in the comments and uh, yeah I guess I'll see you next time before signing off please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family and uh, I hope you all have a great day so until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.